A lot of people don't realize exactly how much a movie costs to make. I mean, you'd assume it's a lot of money, I would imagine. But like the scale of the universe, it can be hard to grasp just how much money these things cost. So before I say anything, I'm just going to go ahead and mention that average income is like $50,000 a year per person. Now that I said that, it's quiz time. How much do you think The Martian costs? $108 million. That's well over 2,000 times the $50,000 average income. The new Star Wars movie? $200 million. Just imagine if you put the budget for Star Wars in a savings account with a 1% interest rate, you would earn $2 million a year from interest. Okay, so that's the big science fiction action type movie. But how much do you think The Notebook costs? $29 million. Fault in Our Stars? 12 million. Okay, that one is pretty low, coming in at only 240 times the average income. But I mean, come on, it's not like they're making some complicated rocket to send to Saturn. It's just a movie where two teenagers fall in love. So why do movies cost so much money to make? I mean, it seems obvious, right? Big explosions and a big name actor. How could you not need a big budget? Well, that is true. It's not the whole story. First of all, cinema cameras cost an incredible amount of money. The Ari Alexa starter kit, which is a really popular digital camera, has a suggested retail price of around $80,000. And that's digital. If you're shooting film, you're looking at between around $200 per 11 minutes to around $800 per 11 minutes. And spoiler alert, most movies are more than 11 minutes long, so you're going to need a couple rolls. And then there's the cost of developing it and scanning it so you can edit it on a computer. If you want to know why movies really cost so much, all you've got to do is watch the credits. There are so many people who work on these projects, it's crazy. First, you have the more obvious ones like actors, the director, director of photography, cameraman, and producers. But one camera is almost never just a one guy thing. There's usually an entire team to one camera. You got the cameraman, you got the focus puller, you got the clapper loader, the film loader, the digital image technician, and if you got special camera rigs like a crane or a steady cam or whatever, there's a guy who specializes in using that specific thing. And since a camera is pretty useless if you can't see what's in front of it, you need a whole lighting department. And then you got your sound department. Then you need electricians to help power all this, and carpenters to build the sets, prop builders to build the props, you need transportation to get everything there. You need extras to just walk around in the background, you need costume designers, you need production designers, you need people to do makeup, you need the higher up organizers like the producers, the casting directors, the people in charge of logistics and hiring everyone, finding all the different services you need, and don't forget the all important production assistants. You need stunt doubles and stunt coordinators, you need breakaway props, you need multiple copies of each prop, you need body doubles, you need a second unit production team. They're the people who shoot the random shots that don't include the main cast which costs like you know, a million dollars a day. Then you have the weird, very specific jobs, like the people who come in and wet the ground during night scenes so it looks really shiny and nice. You got the animal actors and their handlers and trainers, and you got all these people on set. Well, you gotta look after them. You gotta get catering and craft services. You got your tra trailers for the stars and whatnot. You gotta get porta potties for the mortals. And that's just production. There's also stuff like concept artists. There's pre-visualization, which is basically testing different shots to see if they actually work before you they're filming it. Then you got post production. You got audio work like Foley, which is just going to a quiet room and recording like a shoelace hitting sand or something. There's ADR work that needs to be done, which is recording dialogue that didn't come out so good. Then you have the color grading. The editing and visual effects take an incredible amount of time and energy, which translates into a whole lot of cash money. So, if you're a filmmaker and you're scared you're not going to make it, don't even worry about it. Even if you're not the next Stanley Kubrick, maybe you'll be the dude who has a sweet color grade. Maybe you'll be the dude who's really great at operating the crane rig. Because there's a whole buttload of money floating around in the movie industry. And it's not all going to the guy on the poster. Speaking of which, someone's got to make the poster too. 